we're in the yellow. Whoop. And we hit it. Actually, if I stop right when we hit the red, it's instead rough. of pushing as hard as I can't, no, it wasn't rough. <laughs> so we've got about eight inches. I'll go between two different ones in case I hit something. I don't think I did. Nice and fluffy. That was a rock. Yeah. Fluffy. Is this hurt? Is this hurt? Getting into yellow. And we're at the red. So that was a little better. That was up to 10 inches or so. But this tool is addictive. Um, when we do a soil, <laughs> when we do a soil health test, we take this thing out in the field, and we have to do um, soil sampling as well. So we'll take a shovel out, and you dig out a chunk of soil, and then you slide down about a foot and take a cross section of the soil out. And while I'm doing that, the farmer usually takes this, runs off, and pokes <laughs> ten holes. I'll look over and they'll be looking at it. So this tool is fun. It's very fun. But it's really useful too because you can really start to feel what's going on with your soil. If you don't have one of these and you want to just play around, just get a piece of um, fairly rigid wire, like even just a flag, and just get out there and start poking. And you'll be able to feel where these layers are just with a piece of wire. It doesn't take anything thick to feel any restrictive layers. So, or you can bug your local extension office. Some of them have these. Um, Judd Reed and Robert Haddad probably both have one. So you can torment them about that. But it is, uh, 